right, Virgo, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of March 7th through March 13th of 2021. The energy of the week, you have door to spirit. And when this card comes out as your energy of the week, that means you have some sort of spiritual connection. It could mean that someone is trying to contact you from the other side, or it could mean that you are lifting the veil this week to see through to spirit. So door to spirit can also be about deep changes. Um, changes deep something in your core so it's not a small move it's something that's going to last a long time it's usually changes in your belief system of some sort so i feel like that is what your energy of the week is virgo all right we'll see if there's any challenges or obstacles you might face you have the king of wands so the king of wands is a fire energy so aries leo sagittarius um, but this King of Wands is someone who is brave, um, someone who delegates, someone who is in charge, in control of his things. So you could be feeling just not in control of something this week. Something could be happening um, where you're feeling like you're having to do everything by yourself or on your own. Something like that. And then we'll see a lesson you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle. You have the Emperor. So again, you have Aries. Um, so Virgo, the Emperor is the most powerful card in tarot. Uh, he is the most powerful person in tarot. The Emperor is someone who is not only very powerful, but very courageous. Like, he takes care of everyone. Um, the Emperor is sometimes seen as a father figure. So I would say that it could be having something to do with authority. Some sort of authority or father figure is what's helping you um, with this inaction over here. All right, and then outcome for the week, Virgo, you have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is a partnership. So someone comes in and offers you their cup. Now, cups are love. Um, so the Two of Cups is seen as a love card. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean love. It could be a friendship, a close friendship, um, some sort of partner. It's the Two of Cups is where two people have come together. They've joined their energy together, um, and they're going to become more powerful because of it now we're going to clarify so for the king of wands you have the ten of cups and the ten of cups is great happiness it's where you're content with your your home um your family it's great love um in the rider weight tarot it shows like a great big rainbow and there's like the happy couple in, in front of their home and the children are playing in the light seers tarot it's like a ribbon uh, the rainbow is and they're kind of sitting the couple is sitting and they're holding each other um, you can still see the children playing in the background so whatever this inaction is that you're not taking has something to do with your family um, if you have children it could have something to do with your children um, if you don't have children it could have be saying something about um, maybe like it's time to start considering a family something like that but that is your challenge or obstacle this week so the Emperor you have the chariot so the emperor is going to help you move it's going to help you take some sort of action the chariot is where you there's movement and a lot of times when the chariot comes in it's after a period of being stuck or stagnant being in your challenge or obstacle um, that tells me you've been stuck and you've not been doing anything you haven't made any decisions and you haven't delegated any issues to anyone um, you could be feeling like you're having to do everything on your own and you're not able to get to where you're wanting to be um, but the Emperor, I feel like this is going to be a person. Um, so if you have like an Aries, um, someone close that can actually, they're going to do something that's going to cause movement. It's going to cause action. And then for the Two of Cups, have the Moon. Um, so this could bring a lot of emotion, whatever this person is helping. Um, wh this person could be this partner. Um, like the Two of Cups could have something to do with the Emperor, um, but I feel like it has something to do um, with someone who's very powerful. Um, someone who maybe like you really trust their judgment, something like that. Um, so the Chariot, they're going to be able to cause you to move, but the outcome is that you join forces with this person. Um, it could be causing you a lot of emotions or it could be something that you're not seeing yet. Um, something that's hidden. The Moon a lot of times represents something that's hidden, something that you don't see clearly. So whatever partnership um, you're creating at the end of this week, I would say that if it's not emotional, like if it's not about love or someone you care deeply about, then there could be something in that partnership that you're not seeing clearly. All right, Virgo, we're going to do guidance cards from Queen of the Moon. 
and we'll do two of them, one for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week. So the first one you have resistance. Um, resistance talks about sometimes we hold on some, to something too tightly, um, but you're supposed to look to see like, is that benefiting you um, by holding on to it or do you need to release it in order to be able to um, gain new energy? So if there's something you're holding on to, I feel like with resistance falling on top of the King of Wands, um, you're just the inaction would be the resistance. And I feel like you're going to break that because you're going to look at how this inaction is not carrying you forward. And then you'll be able to let that go. And resilience talks about um, working really hard for something, but also learning from everything that you've went through. Not only are you gathering experience, but you're also gathering knowledge. And then, of course, that makes you resilient. All right, Virgo, we're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this will help with your thoughts and emotions. I don't think it's going to be um, like a highly emotional week. Um, we do have that Pisces full moon on the 13th, if I didn't mention at the beginning. Um, and I feel like you're just going to let go of some sort of insecurity. And that's probably what's causing this inaction. All right, you have it's a time for healing. And that's exactly what we're doing. All right, Virgo, I'm going to end it there. It sounds like you're going to have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.